Hi everyone, welcome back to a new Tasker tutorial. Today's tutorial is about setting up a motion alarm for your phone or tablet, in case I leave my phone laying around on my desk at work, or my tablets at home. This is how it works. I turn the profile on with the widget, while the device is laying flat, and when someone picks it up, it locks up the screen and sound a loud alarm. And the only way to turn the alarm off, is to enter the correct code. Are you interested yet? Keep on watching, there are more tasker tricks in this video to discover. The first thing to do is create a widget, so press and hold on a screen that you want, and then select widget from the list. Then scroll down and select tasker, that will bring another list of two tasker widgets, select task. Click on new task, and give it the name. Alarm, then click OK when done. We will create the first action by clicking the plus sign. Select variables, then select variable add, we'll call this variable, motion alarm, with at least one letter is capitalized. Enter 2 in the wrap around field, then click the back arrow. Click on the bottom right corner to set an icon for the widget, then select, built in, then select an icon, do not fuss about it, we are going to change it later anyway, click the back arrow when you're done. Click on this widget once, to get it saved in Tasker, then go ahead and open Tasker. Now, let's go ahead and create a new project tab by clicking the Tasker home button, then clicking add, and give the project a name, call it motion alarm. Then click the OK check mark. Next we are going to move the alarm task from the home tab to motion alarm tab. Just press and hold on it, then drag it and drop it in the new project tab. Let's leave that task alone for now, in the scene tab, click the plus sign and give the new scene a name, call it motion alarm, then click the OK check mark. Click the setting icon, and select properties, to change the scene background color, click the magnifying glass, and select a color that you like, I will choose a red color, click OK, then the back arrow. Resize the scene, you want it to be a little narrow, maybe a third of your screen size. Click on the magnifying glass, then the plus sign. Select text, you want to change the text size to fit your screen, you might have to readjust it later, and in the text field, enter, stop alarm, also, you can change the text color, then click the back arrow when you are done. Click on the tap tab, then the plus sign, and select media, then music stop, click the back arrow when you're done. And for the last element in the scene, click the plus sign, then select scene, and choose, destroy scene. The name of the scene will be entered for you. We're done with scenes so go ahead and click the back arrow twice. Resize and center the text element in the scene, I will make it as big as the scene itself, then click the back arrow when you're finished. On the task tab, create a new task, click the plus sign and give it a name. Call this one, motion alarm, then click on the OK check mark. Click the plus sign to create the first action, select media, then select music play. Select a music file from your device storage, I will leave the link to my website, where you can download all kind of free ringtones and wallpaper.
tick the loop checkbox, that way, the alarm will keep on playing until the right code is entered, I will leave the stream set to play on media, and then click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on display, then select lock. In the code field, enter your own code, and please make sure that you do not forget it. A little further down, put a check mark in the full screen box, and leave the allow cancel, and the remember till off, are unchecked, again I will remind you not to forget the code, write it down, then click the back arrow when you're done. Click the plus sign, select scene. Then select show scene. Use the magnifying glass to search for the scene, motion alarm, and click on it, then select dialog, from the display as, drop down menu. Then slide the vertical position slider all the way to the left, this will show the scene at the top of your display, uncheck the show exit button, since we've already made a way to destroy the scene, and then click the back arrow. The next two actions are optional, but they come in handy if you have more than one device, so click the plus sign and select phone, then select send SMS. In the number area, enter the phone number, where you want to receive the text, and in the message area, enter something like, alarm was activated on. Leave a space, then use the tag icon to search for the date variable and click on it. Leave a space after it, then enter, at, again leave a space, and use the tag icon this time to search for the time variable and click on it. Click the back arrow when you are done. Click the plus sign, select media, then select take photo. Change the camera from rear to front, so it'll take a photo of whoever moved the device. In the file name field, enter, motion alarm, and in the naming sequence, select series, or chronological, either will work for this task. Also make sure to check the discrete box, and finally, you can change the resolution if you wish, by clicking the magnifying glass. Click the back arrow. Click the back arrow, one more time, and tap on the profile tab, to create a new profile. Click the plus sign, and give this profile a name, call it motion alarm, then click the OK check mark when you're done. Click on state, then sensors, and lastly click on orientation. Change it from face up, to standing up, from the drop down menu, then click the back arrow. Select the motion alarm from the list. Then tap on the task tab, we are going to finish the task. Alarm, that we created at the beginning. Go ahead and click on the alarm task, then the plus sign, select task, then select, if. Click the tag icon, and search for the variable, motion alarm, that we created earlier, and in the next field, enter 1. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, then click on tasker, and lastly, select, profile status. Use the magnifying glass to find the profile, motion alarm, and set it to on. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, then tasker, lastly click on, set widget icon. Click the magnifying glass, click on the alarm widget, then click on the icon square field to create an icon, when the profile is active. I have selected the icons that I wanted to use so I will click on local media, and find them on the SD card. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on tasker, then select. Set widget label. Select the alarm widget with the magnifying glass, leave the label field empty, this will remove the widget name from the home screen, if you want, enter, on, in the label field. Click the back arrow. 
Click the plus sign, click on task, then select else. Click the plus sign for the if statement, use the tag icon to find the variable, motion alarm, and in the next field, enter zero, then click the back arrow. Next, we're going to repeat actions 3 and 4, but for the off state. So click the plus sign, select tasker, then click on profile status. Use the magnifying glass to find the profile, motion alarm, and leave it set to off, then click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, then tasker, and then on set widget icon, find the widget, alarm, with the magnifying glass, and choose an icon to show that the profile is off, and click the back arrow. I will leave you the link to download these icons, where also you can download the ring tones. Click the back arrow when you are done. If you want to add set widget label, you can do it here, just like in action number 6, but enter the label, off. Otherwise, click the plus sign, then on task, and finally on end if. This profile is ready for use, when you are ready to turn it on, lay your device flat with the screen up. And tab on the widget to turn it on, if you pick it up. It will start the alarm, and when you want to use it, if you don't want it to turn the alarm on, then turn the widget off before you pick it up. On second thought, I could have used a wait action of 15 seconds before the first action in the motion alarm. I hope you like this video, and find it informative. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and have a good day.